the use of paper and I cut it into strips because I need to do um, some sample pieces and I want to use my lovely acrylic ink on this because I've seen uh, videos where a lot of people are painting with this watercolor on it and you get some great textures so I'm experiment experimenting with a uh, Yupo and this is the 74 pound white paper so this one is pretty opaque you can't really see through it but it has a really smooth finish to it okay so before I actually use this I need to use some rubbing alcohol they mentioned on YouTube and a lot of people were saying you need to clean it off because if you've been touching it which I have because I had to cut it into strips you want to clean it off with some rubbing alcohol because the oils of your hands are not um, good for it when you start doing your textures and things like that so the stuff uh, this paper is actually made out of um, recycled carton love carton so this is a really interesting paper because it's it's not made out of plant fibers um, they said um, when I was watching one of the YouTube videos about using this paper it was developed in the, about the 1970s and they developed it to use for bottles for uh, the labels for shampoo bottles so it's been around for a while and I've noticed more and more um, artists are using it as a surface to paint on now this is not the cheapest paper in the world like this sheet of paper came in about a 26 by 20 inch size sheet and it was uh, I believe almost six dollars okay and then I believe I was charged a dollar fifty for the packaging of it as well so it, it gets a little pricey even though the sheets are big okay so I've just cleaned it off with a rubbing alcohol and I'm really excited to experiment with it so stay tuned Hi guys, I have some Yupo paper and I've cut it into strips because I need to do um, some sample pieces and I want to use my lovely acrylic inks on this because I've seen uh, videos where a lot of people are painting with this, watercolors on it and you get some great textures so I'm experimenting with, experimenting with a Yupo and this is the 74 pound white paper so this one is pretty opaque you can't really see through it but it has a really smooth finish to it okay so before I actually use this I need to use some rubbing alcohol they mentioned on YouTube um, a lot of people were saying you need to clean it off because if you've been touching it which I have because I had to cut it into strips you want to clean it off with some rubbing alcohol because the oils of your hands are not um, good for it when you start doing your textures and things guys so I have a board that is covered in plastic because this is gonna get pretty messy okay so I am gonna use these three Dale and Rowney uh, acrylic inks um, the colors are Payne's gray which this is a bit of a secret um, my students would always ask me what's your favorite color miss Miller and I'd always say all the colors but really my favorite has got to be Payne's gray I think I don't know it's so versatile it's got a little blue in it it's it's just a nice really cool gray color to it then I want to experiment a little bit with this turquoise which is a very bright blue and then a darker indigo okay so on top of that since this is playing around with things I've got a spray bottle with water I have some what we call water watercolor granulation medium you can get some really cool textures with this this is by Winsor & Newton I wish I had this in a spray bottle they used to have a uh, sh schmink or schmicked um, had a version with a fine air mister couldn't find it they were out um, I'm also gonna try 
some alcohol inks because this works great on Yupo as well. So this is a blue alcohol ink um, and then I've also got this alcohol blender. You can use um, rubbing alcohol as well and then I have a cup of water. Um, I also have a what they call a pipette and a pipette is just like a little eyedropper. Then I have my cheap cheap brushes. These are just cheap. Um, you can go to the hardware store. Like I think this was like less than a dollar. This was like maybe a dollar something. And then I have my watercolor brush. And I also want to experiment with some other non-traditional like ammonia, which has been diluted with water. And then try it again because I'm not happy with the results on that last one so I'm gonna and I think I'm just gonna go really thick with the paint spray thick 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 okay and maybe you have to let it dry but I don't think they did I'm just gonna spray spritz it once there we go I mean, you can see it takes a little bit less effect than the um, sunblock. It's not doing as much. So now, I'm gonna do it on half. It does kind of, it's supposed to kind of bleach it out kind of doing it there so maybe I need to allow it to dry a little bit let's try a little bit more oh now I see it so that's interesting Ooh, it's really pretty it kind of looks almost kind of fuzzy furry I don't know can you see that texture that's pretty cool okay I'm gonna set that aside And I'm gonna okay I'm just gonna try to paint with it a little bit so just a little bit of water my brush is a little bit dirty and then I'm just gonna go in with this see what it's like painting with it like you just don't need now the nice thing is if I mess up I can just wipe it off it's too much water so I do like that aspect of it like the and it's kind of neat how it kind of stains it a little bit and then I can go back in so like say if I go in with this like that's probably about the right consistency for water I wonder what it looks like if I do paper towel Ooh, that's kind of neat that's with paper towel let's do it a lot thicker A really strong color. Ooh. Just some paper towel. Ooh, that's pretty too. Look at that. So really interesting. You can get a lot of cool textures and you're you're not having to do a lot. That's pretty cool. So lift that up, set that aside. Okay, next one. What I'm gonna do is going to be alcohol ink and the alcohol blending solution, because why not? So usually with this, you wanna, I mean, you can drop it down, like I could just, I just I've seen people, this is how I do this. I can, people just throw. You know, so it bleeds really well on this paper, and that's why so many people use it. And then this is a, blending medium which it just kind of makes it spread like it's spreading now but watch this see and this is great like I think this would look cool for kind of an icy texture now if I don't like it 
cool too okay so we're gonna do it again this time I'm just gonna do two drops or maybe one come on there we go so just you can use rubbing alcohol as well look at that and that blue I like the little bloom look at that yeah get these really cool blooms And so I'm trying to achieve looks that remind somebody of ice, like something that looks icy, cold, um, because the illustrations I'm doing, they're going to be um, for snow or winter. So there's another one. Oh, now I get to do the granulation medium. Okay, so I'm going to do this. It may be smaller. Okay, so I'm not going to use this. I am going to use my big brush again and I'm going to use what it is just a little bit of Payne's gray and I'm just gonna and then this is watercolor granulation medium just get some interesting textures I can open it this is where I use the little pipette and I'm just gonna squeeze some of this up okay if I needed that quite that much and then it will do these interesting effects as well Ooh, look at that look at that see it causes it to run and separate sorry I just want to bring it closer so you can see it I'm gonna hold it at an angle yeah and so it Basically granulates creates this really amazing texture I'm not sure what I'd use it for maybe trees rocks or something like that put that to the side there but kind of dry rubbing alcohol because I hadn't done that and see how that looks different I'm using my pipette squeeze in some of that alcohol and see oh that is cool <gasps> Neato. I don't know what I would use this for but it looks really cool like be accurate I think that's the one thing you gotta kind of be free with it but that is pretty look at that that's so different compared to the other ones I think I like it better than you know when I use the uh, alcohol ink like you get some really cool yeah that was the weird thing I found out with acrylic inks you get better results than you would if you were using the alcohol inks it's as far as with if you're gonna mix it with other mediums and stuff it just seems to work a lot better okay so I'm gonna let these dry and then I want to put them all on one sheet take a picture of it so you can see how everything kind of